Hello and welcome in this small video on the assignments. Dear learners, as you are doing your program in ODL system, assignments are the essential part of our assessment strategy. In this video, I am going to explain you the basic characteristics of assignments as well as how you can collect or download your assignments when you are writing the assignments responses, what precautions you should keep in your mind, how you can submit your assignments. To facilitate you in preparing your assignments, I am going to explain you all these aspects one by one. Dear learners, the first question may come to your mind, why are assignments important? Assignments are basically the instrument of teaching learning at distance because you and your teacher, your tutor are not meeting frequently. Through assignments, they give you certain questions, you answer, then they write certain comments and they communicate you where you are right, where you need improvement, where you can excel. So assignments are basically the instrument of teaching learning at a distance or we can say these are mean of academic communication between you, your tutor. When we think about assignments, assignments basically minimize the spatial distance between you and your counselor and assignments increase the academic and psychological closeness between you and your tutor. Assignments are very effective if there are meaningful and constructive suggestions on assignment through the comments which your tutors give on your assignments and these comments can affect a successful ODL learning. Dear learners, what is an assignment? This is a question which may come to your mind. Assignment is basically a device for two-way communication. Communication from you to your tutor and from your tutor to you. Assignment enables you to ensure that what you have learned and what you are expected to learn. Assignments are generally marked or evaluated by the distance teacher or tutor. Assignment, you may find a variety of assignments in different courses of your program. But generally assignments comprise a variety of questions such as essay type questions, short answer type question, some problem solving exercise, etc. Basically assignments are designed to assess the higher order cognitive objectives such as analysis, synthesis, judgment, comprehension, application. You hardly find an assignment in which only the repetition of the content is required which is already in your study material. Assignments never expect that whatever is written in the study material, you copy it and write it. Now, when you submit your assignment, your teachers comment on those assignments. Those comments are the way to communicate with you. Because the comments are reactions of the tutors on the assignment response of the learner to promote his or her learning means to promote your learning. Comments basically provide some academic support to the learner, to you, because you are isolated from your teacher. Comments, if are well written by the counselor or the tutor on the assignment response, all these comments are known as tutor comments. The assessment and commenting on the assignment response is primarily the responsibility of your tutor or counselor, the person who is assessing your assignment. When we talk about the importance of tutor comments, tutor comments provide you guidance, counseling, and suggestions to improve the study habits of yours if necessary. And tutor comments clarify the ambiguities if there is any or the difficult portion of a course unit. Let me show you one example. So in this assignment, the first comment, you see the small letters is a quotation and immediately after quotation the learner has started the answer with one subheading. 
So what the comment has been given by the teacher, you could have presented a very brief introduction at the beginning and could have discussed the meaning of support services initially before telling about the pre-entry stage support services. Similarly, he circled one term stage at this stage and what the comment mentioned various stages first then discuss each state under subheading. So such kind of comments always very effective and very meaningful. This is a example of a cover page of an assignment and you can read the evaluator comment. This is the global comment that your performance in this assignment is good. You have attempted uh, some parts very beautifully. Your answer is very brief and then whatever grade has been given there are some criteria whether the information was accurate or not coverage was adequate or not whether conceptual analysis was good or not whether your answer was well planned or not well planned whether it was concise or too long so such sheets are always provided to our counselors and our counselors after giving the comments on the margin put a global comment and submit it to the study center dear learners before moving further, let me tell you how you can download our assignment from IGNU website. For that, you need to type ignou.ac.in. When you see the homepage of the IGNU website, go on student support. Then in student support, student zone, you click on the student zone. You will find a lot of uh, sections here. And if you will scroll down, there is a section called assignments. You click on the assignment section. And you can see the assignment for your master degree program. You can see the assignment of your bachelor degree program. See the assignment of your. So you whatever program you are doing from IGNU. For example, if you are doing B.Ed., you just click on B.Ed. Then you see for which batch the assignments are there. If you have taken admission in January 19, then you need to click on January 19 batch. Because whenever assignments are there, assignments also mentioned for which batch they are there and if you see even in these assignments you can notice that for each course there are three questions so all three questions are compulsory and each question is to be answered in 500 words and if you see our assignments most of the assignments are basically reflective in nature or they will ask you to do something in your class and light your reflection or use your experience these assignments are basically for teachers similarly for every course you can find the assignment on IGNU website you can download these assignments and you can write your assignment response after downloading your assignments you need to write your assignment responses so now i'm going to tell you how to write your assignment responses you use only a4 size paper for writing your responses it is also suggested to you that please leave two to three inch margin on left side up because your tutor or your counselor need to write the comments in that space. And please write your answers as the reflection of the understanding of unit. Don't repeat the content which is given in the unit. If your answers are found identical or exactly copied from the study material, they will be either returned unmarked or maybe awarded very low grades. So it will affect your final grade in the course. And it is also suggested to you that please keep a copy of your assignment with you. One more thing which is very important for you to know that the responses of the assignment should be from the same year or term for which you are appearing in term and examination. For example, if you have taken admission in 2020 batch, and you are going to appear in December 2020 in term and examination, then the assignment questions which are for 2020 batch are to be submitted before term and examination. If you have taken admission in 2019 and you have not submitted the assignment, now you want to appear in term and examination of 2020 for first year. However, your admission was of 2019 and if you have not submitted assignment at that time, then this time you need to submit the assignment which are for 2020 batch and not the assignments which were for your original 2019 batch. Assignments responses must be submitted by hand at your study center or by speed post but you can also 
utilize technology nowadays if your study center or RC permits you. In our school of education programs, the assignment of a course carry 30% weightage. And generally one assignment for each course has three questions. You are not allowed to appear in the term and examination if you does not submit the assignment in time. Now, when you submit your assignments, it is the responsibility of your program study center to send the assignment back to you after evaluating and commenting and before examination. Assignments are not subject to re-evaluation except factual errors. Now the final thing is or how grading is done in assignments. Actually in our programs, in school of education programs, you need to obtain at least D grade in each course, both continuous and terminal evaluation means minimum D grade in theory and minimum D grade in assignment. But the total grade should be minimum C. In case of B8 program, it should be minimum C. They are the later grades. What do you mean by A grade, B grade, C grade or D grade and what is its percentage? What is the point grade it has been given? in the table. Sometimes learner get confused that why they get a particular grade. So let me show you one example that how we calculate the cumulative grade. If an assignment has three questions, for example, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 and your evaluator, your counselor has given you A grade in 1.1, .1, C grade in 1.2 and D grade in 1.3 then because A equivalent to 5, C equivalent to 3 and D equivalent to 2 so he will or she will add 5 plus 3 plus 2 and divide by 3 it will come 3.33 it is C because the range of the C grade is 2.5 to 3.49 let me show you one more example if a learner has got grades A, D, C and B in four sections, if there are four sections in one assignment or in one question, then what will be his or her cumulative grade? Similarly, 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, 5 for A, 2 for D, 3 for C and 4 for B will be divided by 4. So 14 divided by 4, 3.5 that is B because 3.50 to 4.49 is the range of grade B. So this is the formula through which we calculate our grades. I hope that this discussion will help you in understanding how to download assignments, how to write assignments, where and when to submit assignments and how assignments are being graded and what is the importance of comment on assignments. Still, if you feel any problem, any confusion, you can connect or you can write to your concerned regional center or if you are a student of school of education, you can write to us at soe at the rate ignou.ac.in. Keep learning. Keep growing. Thank you.